CockroachDB is an ACID database. This means it provides guarantees on atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. These guarantees make it an excellent choice for transactional workloads, but they also introduce some consequences. In some circumstances, two transactions may end up in contention for the same resources. This can result in a deadlock where neither transaction can proceed until the other is complete. When CockroachDB encounters a deadlock, it will automatically cancel one of the transactions. This frees up the resources in contention and allows the other transaction to proceed. The failed transaction is given a specific error code of 40,001, which indicates a retriable error. The transaction is considered retriable because once the contention is eliminated, executing the transaction again should succeed. In some cases, CockroachDB can handle the retry automatically. Specifically, if an operation is executed as a single SQL statement, then CockroachDB will use an implicit transaction. These implicit transactions can be automatically retried. Furthermore, transactions that are implemented as a batch, where each statement doesn't rely on the results of the previous one, can also be retried. These batch statements must be executed in a single query by the database driver. However, if your transaction is executed as multiple queries by the database driver, then it can't be automatically retried. This is because there may be additional application-side processing that the database doesn't have access to. It can't retry the transaction without that additional logic. In these cases, it is recommended that you include application logic to retry the transaction if it fails. An effective implementation of retries will include a few key elements. First, it will attempt to execute the transaction. Each time a failure is encountered, whether or not it's retriable, it's important to roll back the transaction. If it encounters a retriable error, then it should wait a little while before retrying the transaction. This is known as a backoff, and it allows time for the contending transaction to complete. If the transaction exceeds the maximum number of retries, or it encounters a non-retriable error, then it should fail. Some ORMs and drivers include an implementation of the application-side retry logic. However, some do not. For example, the node Postgres driver does not include retry logic. You will have to write it yourself. Regardless of whether the tool you use includes retry logic, it's important to understand why it's necessary. Although the driver or ORM may implement retries, it's up to the developer to understand where they should be applied and what the consequences might be.